Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how if you can shop on Amazon, you can use Apple Motion. This is a tip that I gave at the Final Cut Creative Summit that people thought was really fun. And this video is gonna be kind of short because I'm in the throes of planning my sessions for post-production world at NAB. Are you gonna be joining us in Vegas in April? I hope to see you there. If you haven't yet bought your ticket, I have a discount code for you down in the description. If you're curious about the sessions I'm personally teaching, I will put a link to my schedule there as well. All right, let's just jump right in. So here we are in Final Cut, and as you probably know, Final Cut comes with a variety of title templates that you can use in your projects. But if you have Apple Motion, you can tweak these title templates to give them a more custom look. Let me show you how. So I'm going to start with this text spacing 3D title, and I'm going to drop it into my timeline and scrub through so we can take a good look at what's actually happening. As I scrub my playhead, you can see that the characters are gathering in toward the center of the frame and each character fades in at the exact same time. And then if I head over to my title inspector, I can make some adjustments here about how far apart the letters are spaced at the beginning and the speed in which they gather in. And I can change the duration of that fade in so I can make them fade in slower. And I can make the same changes for the animation out on this text as well. But what if I wanted to modify this? Let's say I didn't want all the characters to fade in at the same time or something like that. Let me show you how you can hop into Apple Motion and make that really quick change. Like I said, if you can shop on Amazon, you can do this. So what I'm going to do is right click this title template in Final Cut Pro. And if I have Apple Motion, I can select open a copy in Motion and automatically it'll open Apple Motion to this title template. Now, don't worry, any changes you make in Motion are not gonna mess up your original title and Final Cut, so you can have fun and experiment in here and not feel like you're doing any permanent damage to your title templates in Final Cut. So what I'm going to do is drop down on my text here in my project pane, and I'm going to find that fade in behavior. It says fade in right here. And I'm going to head over to the inspector. And here are all of these parameters on that fade in. Now, if you're not really familiar with Apple Motion, you'll see that this window kind of looks like the title inspector in Final Cut Pro, but it has more options. What we wanna do is publish more options to Final Cut so that when we open the title in the title inspector, I can have more control in more settings. So remember, I said I wanted my characters not to fade in all at the same time. Let's change that. So under the animate line, it's set to all. That means that all of the characters are going to fade in at the same time, but I want more control. So what I'm going to do is hover my mouse over this animate line until I get this little drop down arrow and I'm going to select publish in Apple Motion. Hitting publish is the equivalent to adding to cart in Amazon. And then I also want to be able to control the direction of the fade. So right now it's set to forward, but you can see there are all of these other options that I don't have access to in Final Cut Pro. So let's add that to cart as well. And the last control I wanna to add to my title template in Final Cut Pro is the spread. This is going to be how many individual characters are affected at once with the fade behavior. So I'm going to add that to cart as well. Now all we need to do is check out, which is really simple. We're just gonna hit Command S to save. And then we're gonna head back over to Final Cut Pro and now if we look in our browser window, I now have not just my original text spacing 3D title, but text spacing 3D copy. This is the modification I just made. I'm going to add that to my timeline so we can see the difference in our title templates. So here's the original. Let's look in the title inspector. I have six options, but now when I click on my copy, I have all these new parameters that I can use to modify this existing title template. So now what I can do is increase the duration of the fade in. This was a parameter that already existed in this title template. And then on the animate, I'm going to go from all to character. And for direction, instead of forward, I'm going to go center to ends, and then I'm going to reduce the spread. And now look what I've got. The characters start fading in from the center, and it's more gradual. Here's a side-by-side -side between the two title templates. 
So that is how modifying existing title templates in Final Cut Pro is as simple as shopping on Amazon. You guys, I hope to see you in Las Vegas in April for NAB. I picked out some other videos I know you're gonna love. I'll see you again.